man behind some of comedy's most outrageous characters. You know them and you love them. I do. Ali G, Borat, and Bruno. Before I got here, Hoda got to sit down with the actor, actually, comedian and well-known prankster. I did, and I'm sorry you weren't here because you would have loved it. I like him. I'm bummed that I wasn't here. He talked about his latest creation, this guy named Nobby Butcher, from his new film, The Brothers Grimsby, who's kind of like a Borat meets Bond. Take a look. You need to head inside, find Lena Smith, and seduce her. What, and cheat on Donna? Never. You need to seduce her in order to find out what Lukashenko bought from her husband. Okay. Can you see Lena Smith? She's easy to spot. She's wearing a green dress and she's absolutely gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Hi. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to you. I have to say that you were here the other day, and Matt is still having a little post-traumatic stress syndrome from what happened. What you, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that wasn't me. Was, was it Nobby? That was Nobby, yes. Okay, Nobby was here. Yeah. All right. And I, I noticed Nobby and Matt were linked together by handcuffs. Well, I hope that isn't the first time Matt's been handcuffed <laughs> to a strange man. <laughs> no. Um, who put Nobby up to that? Do you know? I don't know, you know, he's a professional, uh, you know, I think he's quite badly drunk, so... Uh, is, he, is that what happened? Yeah. Okay, Matt tried to get away from him. Do you know how hard he was backpedaling? He did not want to get in those handcuffs. Oh, really, really. Because I but, think Nobby was going to the bathroom, so it was... It could have been an awkward situation, Matt and another man in a bathroom stall together. Again, I don't want to assume anything and assume that it was not the first time. All right. But I also heard Nobby mention that he had curry the night before, so yes, yes, knowing yes. Matt, could that would have been, been absolutely been horrible. All right, tell us a little bit about, about your character in this movie. Um, you're a unique person in this. You're kind of a regular, everyday guy slash kind of superhero-ish. Yes, well... <clears throat> Basically, a few years ago, I got pitched the idea by uh, the writer of Wreck-It Ralph and Zootopia. This idea of Bond's brother. What would James Bond's brother be like? Okay. And we thought, all right, what is the worst brother he could possibly have? <laughs> and so we came up with this idea of this northern English football hooligan who's a lovable guy. Yeah. You know, who's got nine, eleven kids, between nine and eleven kids. <laughs> yeah. Who drinks a lot and does a tiny, tiny little bit of heroin, you know, just a safe amount. <laughs> is, there, is there anything he won't do, anything you, anything you won't mock in this kind of a... a anything movie? he or me. Yeah, he or you or both of you. <laughs> well, yeah. there is a, the interesting thing actually yeah. is that there's a joke in this movie, uh, something very bad happens to Donald Trump at the end of the movie. Yeah. And I wasn't sure how people were going to react because he is potentially the future president. Yeah. But I've just come around from a world tour, you know, Spain, Germany, France, England, Australia, mm -hmm. and lots of America. And when this terrible thing happens to Donald Trump, literally the crowds are standing up and cheering and applauding. So, so what does that tell you? <laughs> well, listen, I'm a comedian. Yes. Don't listen to me. You uh -huh. know, my comments are irrelevant. But the level of latent hatred there is for this guy is potentially worrying if he becomes president. Yeah. Because if that's what people feel now, mm -hmm. imagine what happens once he uh, becomes president. You're running is... around and you're, prom you're promoting this movie. You went on the set of Baywatch. I saw. Yes. And yes. I saw you getting scooped up by, was it Zac Efron? Did he very cradle you man. like a baby? Yes, he's incredibly strong. What was going strong. on there? You know, <laughs> men see me, they want to they wanna touch me, they want to lift me, they want to <laughs> suckle me, they want to breastfeed me. And yeah, he's very, very, very strong. He lifted uh -huh. me up. The Rock was there as well. I showed them a little clip from the movie. What did they think? Uh, well, they posted it, The Rock posted it on uh, something called Instagram, which I, I only found out about now. <laughs> I'm uh, not really au fait with the time. I'm yeah. more used to communicating with my fans with carrier pigeons. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they, they saw there was one particular scene uh -huh. that I showed on Jimmy uh, Kimmel that I, I, I won't describe. Please but don't. I think I'm aware. Yes, yeah. but it was a, the Motion Picture Association had some issues with it. Your wife's in the movie with you. Is that the first time you guys have been in a movie together? It is, actually. And how was that? It was great because it was fantastic to, you know, work with someone during the day and then, you know, share a bed with them at night. So I want to thank Penelope Cruz for that. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasha, thank you so much. This movie's a lot of laughs. I got to see it, and it's something special. Yes, it is. Uh, you will not have seen any Anything. of the things that are in it in any other movie, that's for sure. Ever before. The Brothers Grimsby is in theaters today. And do not yeah. go and see it if you're a Trump supporter. You will be disappointed. <laughs>
Okay, you're uh, gonna love the movie. I probably okay, will. That's, boy, that it's awesome. definitely a Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.